Good morning, Dr. Domingo. Well, good afternoon, Bob. How are you? Uh, I'm on a different schedule. <laughs> Understood. Uh, running a little late all day. It, it happens, as you as well you know. So, so uh, what's going on? We have a new brand of COVID that is starting to uh, take kick in and hurt people? Yeah, so it's the BA5 variant, which is a subvariant of, of Omicron, which is the wave we head back in December through through uh, through March. And um, we don't know that we actually have it in Mariposa County yet. Um, we haven't had any sequencing results that suggest that. Um, but we do know it's in other parts of the state of California. And that has led to uh, an increase in the number of cases and an increase in hospitalizations, um, specifically in the Bay Area and in Los Angeles, um, such that we're seeing the majority of the population of California being in that high community level. Um, and so uh, not really seeing any changes in, in mandates. I don't think we'll see a mask mandate come back to the state of California. But in Los Angeles, if they have another week where they are in this high community level, uh, they have it set up so that they will go back to uh, wearing masks in public places indoors. Um, that said, uh, in Mariposa, um, we're actually really uh, plateauing in our cases. Uh, we're getting uh, just between 50 and 60 cases reported to us uh, on a weekly basis. Um, we're seeing our hospitalizations uh, vary between two to five. Um, and we've really not seen that increase in hospitalizations that we saw um, with uh, the Delta wave or the Omicron wave. And so we're hopeful that that will remain the case. We do know that uh, the vaccines are still effective in reducing the likelihood of uh, hospitalizations and deaths. So encouraging people that if they have not had their primary series of vaccines to get vaccinated, um, if they have had their primary series and are eligible for a booster, that they get their first or second boosters uh, as their eligibility dictates. Um, because again, we do know it's protective. Um, we also know that protection wanes. So again, if you're eligible for a booster, that means your, your, your immunity is waning and you can benefit from getting a, a vaccine today. That said, um, both Pfizer and Moderna are making a Omicron specific uh, update of their boosters um, and when that does roll out uh, it will likely add uh, benefit uh, on top of using the original vaccine. That said we actually don't know when that's going to become available probably mid to late fall so maybe October or November when uh, it's a little late in the game if we've got a, another wave going on. So again encourage people to get boosted now uh, and then if, uh, if indicated, if necessary, get that uh, specific booster later on when it becomes available. So other than that, we're asking people to continue to do what they've been doing uh, to decrease transmission. Uh, stay home if you're sick. Uh, wear a mask if you're in public, uh, in, in spaces where you actually don't know where people have been, what they're doing. If you are uh, in close contact with others that you don't have a really good sense of where they've been, encourage you to get tested on a regular basis, whether that be a PCR and an antigen-based test. Um, and other than that, I reiterate the stay home when you get sick. Uh, again, symptoms have been anywhere from mild to requiring hospitalization, and it's hard to figure out without that test whether it's allergies, a cold, or COVID. So testing comes back to us as being the bottom line. Um, and then on top of that, lots of smoke issues here, so that can confuse a lot of people as well. Um, we know we've had the Washburn fire and now the Agua fire in our, in our neighborhoods, and lots of coughing and sore throat that may be related to that, but it also may be COVID. So again, bottom line, get tested. Um, other than that, I think we're, we're hanging in there. Thank you. How's your life going? You're a volunteer fireman. They've been keeping you busy. So I get to wear all my hats uh, in the last <laughs> couple of weeks. Is um, There was a requirement for immediate, immediate needs, what's called immediate needs structure protection um, in Wobona. So we had a strike team of uh, county engines that went out to support the Park Service in 
in setting up structure protection around the buildings in Wawona. Uh, we had a uh, air pollution question, and as you know, the health department or the health public health branch of the Health and Human Services Agency uh, is also responsible for air pollution control or air quality monitoring. And we've been working with the Air Resource Advisor on the Washburn Fire to get messaging out about uh, smoke quality. And then uh, the other hat, back to public health, there have been some cases of COVID associated with firefighting efforts and we've been working with the, um, the Washburn team to, to mitigate the impacts of those. So um, as we are in fire season, uh, preventive message about that, be, be mindful of all those things that reduce your risk of starting a fire. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is we're outdoors, but it's probably 100 degrees out. So if you are outdoors, don't do it in the heat of the day. And if you have to be outdoors, stay hydrated, take frequent breaks and rest. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. You have a great day. And you as well. Stay cool and hydrated. Always. Bye-bye.